Okay, when my daughter Melissa was little, I used to recite to her nursery rhymes, and she hated them. So I promised her I'd rewrite a bunch of them. So, um... Microphone. Let me just... Let me just, just try to get this. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. When my daughter Melissa was little, I used to recite to her nursery rhymes, and she hated them, so I promised I'd rewrite a bunch of them. Melissa, I have a few of them tonight here, a couple. The first one is, Humpty Dumpty, get off of that wall. Humpty Dumpty, get off of that wall. It ain't safe there, man, you're gonna fall. You're not Spider-Man, Humpty, good God, and you sure ain't got much of a bod. The truth is you're shaped like an eggshell, and you'd break in pieces if you fell. All the king's horses, all the king's men, couldn't put you together again. Watch out for those Canadian geese. Man, they'll not give you a minute's peace. Some of them suckers are mighty mean, and their droppings will stain your shell green. If that happens, you'll look really gross, so keep your distance, don't get too close. There's no telling when they'll take a dump. Yuck, one of them just got you in the rough. <laughs> Graffiti artists, man, are worse yet. They'll spray paint anything you can bet. They'll go anywhere come rain or shine. They'll do it quick, they won't wait in line. Darn, one of them is climbing the wall. He's got his spray can. He's gonna scrawl all over you, man. What a pity. When he's finished, you'll not look pretty. Whoa, Humpty, those Canadian geese ain't giving that joker any peace. Look, one of them just wiped his spray can. You've been spared. You were sure lucky, man. Humpty, watch out for them drones up there. Those contraptions are a real nightmare. Some have got cameras, so beware. Don't give them nothing spicy to share. Paparazzi are a real danger. When they're around, it's a game changer. They ain't afraid of nothing, good God. They all want to photograph your bod. A before and after they all crave. Humpty man, don't try to act too brave. They want you to fall and to shatter. Hell, most are madder than a hatter. The Inquirer will print it all. Humpty, if you lose your grip and fall. Or even if you have a close call. So keep your balance atop that wall. The worst is yet to come, Humpty man. Darn, so brace yourself as best you can. Be sure to keep calm, don't blow a fuse when them vultures arrive from Fox News. <laughs> they'll pick you to bits, they've lots of gall. Humpty man, they'll want to know it all. They'll ask why you're sitting on that wall. They'll want answers fast before you fall. More and more crap they'll want you to share. Like true vultures, they'll pick your hide bare. Humpty man, they'll give you such a scare that you'll sign up for Obamacare. So calm down now before you fall, man, because it's hard to pick a health care plan. <laughs> it's confusing. You need lots of help. Your best bet to search for it on Yelp. <laughs> Hey, diddle diddle. Hey, diddle diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the what? Hell, have you been smoking pot? Man, that is really sick. Cause cows can jump a lick. They ain't like kangaroos. You better tighten up your screws. And the little dog laughed to see such sport. Darn, he did nothing of the sort. That pooch was just doing his thing, pray tell. At his favorite fire hydrant when that cow fell. He wasn't looking at the moon when he heard that thump. That big old Elsie landed on her rump. Good God, she must have weighed a ton and ended up with a really swollen bun. That darn cow must have been crocked real bad. Moonshine makes them suckers go mad. That dog, he had his head screwed on tight. Unlike that cow, he could tell day from night. Anyhow, tell me what happened next before that silly cow sends me a text. The dish ran away with a what? You must still be smoking pot. That's the most ridiculous thing I've heard. 
Man, oh man, it's totally absurd. How can a dish run away with a spoon? You must think that I'm some buffoon. Don't tell me more, I've heard enough. Who the heck writes such goofy stuff? Heed my advice and keep it mum, or folks will think you're mighty dumb. No one other than a darn fool will listen, man, it sure ain't cool. If you told that sort of trash to your kid, what would the neighbors think, heaven forbid? <laughs>